Hey, this is Ryan Hemsworth. You're watching Rap Season right now. Just dip on your toe, yeah, yeah. If you're on it, girl, I'm on it. Special guy right for me now. I think where I grew up, like, there's not much of a scene or a real, like, culture for electronic music. And, like, I wanted to produce for rappers, and there wasn't really anyone in the city that I could find that I liked their music. So, yeah, I kind of looked outward and found people, like, in the Bay Area and New York and stuff like that. And going back now, like, I really appreciate where I came from. But I think at the time, it, it definitely felt like, uh, sort of a different kind of pressure just to escape and find maybe where I fit in a little better. I went to King's College uh, for journalism. Music was number one for me, but I was kind of had the fear of like, you know, needing a backup plan. So that in a way was kind of like, if I can't make music, then I can write about music or hang around musicians and, and all that. So yeah, I kind of always wanted to keep it in that realm. I think I always wanted to work with people, but like I started with remixing just cause like I didn't have people to work with. I couldn't find anyone at the time, so it was just like using acapellas that I could find. And in my mind, that was sort of like a fake collaboration. So, yeah, I think I always wanted to do that and wanted to create like a platter for like um, a vocalist to like use in a way. Like, I didn't always want to just be like the, the face and the name and everything. So, yeah, I don't know. I just, uh, something I enjoy about that, like, push and pull. I started Secret Songs as like a, just as a way to like help people that I think were like better than me in some ways. So it's like when you see that or find artists that deserve more attention, I just feel like it's good to like use whatever privilege you have in that way. There was definitely with the last album, Alone for the First Time, like all of that was made I made everything on my own, like on my computer, and then sent it to singers or whoever was on the project. So none of it was really made like in person. There was no real, like, maybe like chemistry in that way, and which is what I kind of wanted to get with elsewhere. So I feel like, you know, when you're in the same room with a, a singer or a rapper, like there's a lot more energy involved. And I feel like with the last project, it was probably more low key and like sad sounding because I was just like sitting there on my laptop with headphones on so um, yeah I get influenced by other people especially on this project like most of it was made kind of while traveling on the road touring or just like in LA or Tokyo or London or whatever like working with people in person there that either I meet at that time or like finally get to meet up like after DMing or emailing for like a year or two so um, I think it's for me it's been like the most important thing for creating and you know making music, making music videos and stuff. She produces, mixes, sings, can like, you know, shoot, um, skateboards, models, like it's yeah, so it's like people like that, um, I think they also tend to have personalities where they're super humble and like don't really push their own creations or whatever. So um, yeah, when I found her, I was just like, there's ways we can definitely like do this way better and like you should be on the road and like, you know, you should have a big fan base. So I, I feel like that's, that's always been the, the motivation. My goal is always just to like look beyond genres and styles and just like work with the person making like the right mood at the right time for me. So I don't know, between that and then working with like Tanache and E40 on this project, like it's all like very different humans coming from different places, but to be able to like find that middle ground to connect on is what I love. So